And one week ago, the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office decided not to charge the officer who shot and killed Donnie Sanders. Tonight, that same office gave the public a chance to ask questions about how they investigate use of force. KCTV5's Betsy Webster joins us now live. So, Betsy, did they hold this forum because of the Sanders case? Well, this isn't the first time they've had a forum like this. They've done them before in which uh, a member of their use of force team discusses uh, the law and their policies, then opens it up for questions. I will say that during the Q&A portion, though, tonight, the questions that were asked made it clear that that's why a lot of people attended this one. All we ask for is justice for my brother. The forum was arranged before protesters marched to the home of Jackson County Prosecutor Jean Peters Baker this weekend, upset with her decision not to charge the officer who shot and killed Donnie Sanders. Several asked the assistant prosecutor leading the forum tonight, how come you only found two witnesses who, by the way, backed up the officer's account? We not only tried to find other witnesses that night, uh, we tried to find all other witnesses up until the very last moment that the report was published, including um, the family had given us witnesses. They, they thought they had witnesses with surveillance cameras. We, we checked all those things. We ran them down, ran them down multiple times. Donnie Sanders, age 47, was shot by police near 52nd and Wabash in March of last year. The officer said he followed, then eventually stopped Sanders for a traffic infraction. Sanders ran from his car and was shot about one minute into a foot chase. At tonight's forum, several remarked that the officer shouldn't have even chased Sanders for something so minor. But the assistant prosecutor said the decision to charge is not about police policy. It has to rise to the level of a crime. That is extremely frustrating, and we're not insensitive to that at all. In announcing her decision, the prosecutor said the only two civilian witnesses they could find said Sanders was moving towards the officer and had his arm up and extending toward the officer when the officer, who was backpedaling, shot. And one witness said it looked like a gun. And though they've yet to find any witness or video showing otherwise. If you have a video out there, we're not barred by statute of limitations. If you have another witness that comes forward, please bring it to us. Now, now, another question that was raised tonight was whether Sanders was shot in the back. Not by police, that prosecutor who led the forum tonight said, but he did explain why some people might have heard that. He said that Sanders did have a bullet wound to his back, but it was an old wound from a previous shooting, not one related to the police officer. Live in Kansas City, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Betsy, thank you.